Hello, hello, Sir David the Bard. I'm coming to you uh, from the uh, Kangaroo City down here where I live, and uh, I've got the little kangaroos outside playing with the cell phone. <laughs> so they like cell phones. Like kangaroos, they jump up and down, and they can use a jumping cell phone. I just hope they don't break it. Anyway, um, I wanted to leave a link with you, a very interesting link uh, that I got out of the uh, Desert News. Now you know the Desert News is not a newspaper. <laughs> the Desert News is the watchtower of the Mormon Church. <laughs> the Desert News is the watchtower of the Mormon Church. It has no news in it, and it has a lot of bullshit in it. If you like reading bullshit, get a subscription, please. Now here's what they're trying to do. I didn't understand the, the word uh, damage control until my third or fourth divorce and then I understood it very well damage control I told my uh, my my one of my last wives I don't remember what her name was I remember what state she was in I don't know but I gave her custody I'm sorry I gave her um, uh, not tenure I gave her <laughs> I gave her shit <laughs> anyway um, I gave her um, the um, oh god I can't remember the word but anyway short story short um, she told the judge when we were uh, discussing custody I wasn't there I thought she would be fair <laughs> that's even funny to me I thought an ex-wife or a divorcing wife would be fair to me there it is anyway uh, she told the judge that um, I believed I came from another planet um, that didn't go well when you don't have a defense. If you're not there to go away, whoa, whoa, it's a planet very close to here. It's not way out there. I had the defense, but I wasn't there, and I didn't think that uh, Sandra would be so mean. And, and she did take uh, Genevieve, uh, Genevieve, and um, I've never seen Genevieve since she's 13 or 14. And then she said to me when we first got married, uh, Sandra, the wife, I would never take your child from you. Mormons. Oh, oh God. Jesus, come and get me. Anyway, um, I do believe I'm from another planet, and I can't wait to get back. I can't wait to get back. Anyway, anyway, the Desert News is trying to uh, uh, polish the Joseph Smith rock in a hat trick. <laughs> I don't know. My mother, she's dead now, and I told you before, she wasn't the greatest mother in the world, but uh, she said to me one day, I must have been 12 or 13, trying to fix something, uh, and she said, David, you can't polish shit. David, you cannot polish shit. <laughs> well, I learned that as a young man, but the Mormon church is 180 years old, and they still haven't learned that. And so they're trying to polish shit. The uh, Joseph Smith head in a hat, hat in a hat, cat in a hat, <laughs> the Mad Hatter in a hat. I don't know, rabbit in a hat. But anyway, the rocks, the magic rocks, and Joseph Smith's face in the rock uh, pile at the bottom of the hat. Now there's several really plausible, if you believe that. There's several pl plausible reasons he had his head in the hat according to the polishing shit of the Mormon church. There's a machine. It's called uh, um, authorities. The machine is called authorities and they polish Mormon shit. So anyway, uh, read this article. I, maybe it, it's serious to you. To me, it was like a sixth grade project uh, that some kids were writing to try to uh, be funny. But anyway, I think these are adults and I really think they believe that we should believe what they're saying. Now, here's some ideas, okay? They said he was looking in a hat because his eyes would get tired. Translating in the daylight. So he had to, like a diabetic grandma, she has the glasses. I've seen those glasses. I hope you never see me in them. But anyway, uh, they think that maybe Joseph was uh, having some eye strain. Not brain strain, but eye strain. Gee, that, that makes sense to me, doesn't it, to you? He decided as a prophet to translate with his head in a hat because the eye strain. Now, the other plausible reasons that the Mormon Church 
brings up is that it's like a cell phone. The rocks were like a cell phone. And when you look down into a cell phone in the, in the bright sunlight, you can't see anything. So they're now, I guess, maybe selling at Deseret News and Deseret Bookstore uh, hats that allow you to put a cell phone in the bottom of the hat. And even with a bright light, uh, you can hide your head and the sun and the cell phone becomes visible. It's possible. That's what the Mormon Church says. Let us polish your shit. So anyway, there were other ideas that the Mormons had about the rocks in the hat. Uh, it was that basically uh, Joseph wanted to block the light out in the room uh, so that his scribes could write because they needed light. Yeah, yeah, that's all. If you believe this, for God's sakes, call the Mormon missionaries. You deserve to be in the Mormon Church. You've earned a plateau in the Mormon Church. If you believe a full-grown man staring into a top hat, reading ancient records off of a rock, is plausible. Man, get the missionary, raise your right hand into the square, and before God, angels, and these witnesses at this altar, and consecrate, dedicate all that you have now, all that you ever will have, to Zion, which uh, interpreted as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Read this link and laugh your ass off. These are adults that really believe you and I with reasonable educations and knowledge of the world think this is possible. Think that it's possible. Now, they also said that Joseph never had to have the plates with him to translate them. This accounts for the 70-year-old picture the Mormon Church has put out in every instant that it ever produced of Joseph sitting at a little table with a pencil and the, and the gold plates beside him at the, ta the table and he's translating the, the uh, gold plates. They're saying, no, that's not true either. <laughs> Is any of it true? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Now, he had the Urim and the Thummim. Now, I don't know if a Thummim is one <laughs> or if it's two Thummims. I don't know. And a urine? A urinal? You know, when I had quad bypass, I, I learned what a urine was. A urine and a thumb. So you take two fingers, you hold that little thing, <laughs> and you have a urine and a thumb. Now how that translates ancient scripture, I don't remember hearing anything about that in the Bible. I don't remember hearing anything about a urine and a thumb anywhere. And um, sometimes when I've seen the Mormon church uh, make up funny stuff, uh, they have like glasses like this and there's rocks <laughs> in the glasses. Let me tell you getting old it is better to have glass in the glasses. You can see but if you put glasses on that rock <laughs> you're going to lead a people astray if you have rock glasses. But I guess they were big at the local stores there uh, during Joseph's time, just like marrying children was a big thing, uh, and they didn't have any husbands, and uh, Joseph was doing everybody a favor, <laughs> banging their 12, 13, and 14 year old children. Anyway, anyway, there's also a, a, um, a device that he had. He had the Urim and the Thummim. Okay, that's two thumbs holding a penis that goes into a urinal. Okay, there's the urinal. The Thummim is there too. Now, the, the glasses had, <laughs> you know what, you can't even make this shit up. You, if you wanted to be funny, you could not make this up. Can you see what this guy would look like peeing in a urinal with rock glasses? And now see the glasses, these days we have this little band on him that holds. He had a breastplate. Okay, now a breastplate to the Mormons is a size D bra. Okay, you put on the rock glasses like this. Okay, then you put on a, a D bra and it holds the glasses. Then you put your 
<laughs> I'm telling you, I couldn't, I couldn't even think of being that funny. No way. This is some of the funniest shit I have ever seen. That this cult, its people believe what it's saying. If you're outside the bubble of this cult, there is no way in hell, even a child, I could bring a seven, eight, nine year old child in here and ask them, uh, you know, looking at a rock, could they translate or see something? So anyway, uh, I'm thinking of selling some uh, rock glasses down there at Temple Square so see, people can see the light, but you know, you sell glasses to a Mormon, they're never going to see the light. Anyway, anyway, uh, take a look at the link and, like I said, if you believe the plausibility of the argument of a full-grown man uh, bouncing up and down sexually on a 14-year-old and calling himself a prophet and then an angel with a flaming sword told him, get your penis out, do her, <laughs> do her, man. <laughs> Call it a new church and tell him that you have rock glasses and see if, if you can see anything in the rock. If you can't, goddamn, put your head down in a hat. They won't know what's in the hat. They, it could be a cell phone. It could <laughs> take a look at the link. Help and enable. We're in the bonus. Raise the morning and say, "If I were to be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity, uh, that is the the name of the second token of the Melchizedek priesthood, the patriarchal grip, or sure sign of the nail." And uh, the true order of prayer is pay, lay, and ale, uh, repeated three times, now interpreted as, oh God, hear the words of my mouth, repeated three times. The penalties in the 90s in the Mormon temple was, don't reveal this crap or we're going to cut your throat. Don't reveal this crap because we're going to cut your heart out or we'll cut all your guts out and they'll fall on the ground. And by the way, raise your right hand to the square and you're going to now go into the covenant of concert, uh, um, consecration. You consecrate now everything that you have, everything that you will have in the future to the upbuilding of Zion and to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The upbuilding of Zion doesn't exist, but the Church does give everything you've got to the Mormon Church. So if Mitt Romney becomes President of the United States, he has to give the United States to the Mormon Church. He's already taken a covenant. So anyway, I hear the little kangaroos jumping up and down. <laughs> the cell phone must be getting uh, dead. So I'll go out there and plug it in. And uh, you go ahead and plug into this link. And just tell me, do you believe this stuff? I'm sorry, I just don't. I I'm too old to believe silliness. 